Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how I created the Azure API management directly on Brainboard. So the first thing I've done is to create it from scratch. Then I selected Azure as my cloud provider. As the first resource, I used a location. And here I modified the resource name and the location itself. Then I made it bigger to include now a resource group and for the resource group I modified the resource name I modified the name as well I looked for the tags and then we are good to go here we'll make bigger And now I will include an API management in the resource group and in the location. Resource name. Because I included the API management in the location, as you can see, it's located now, it's in East US. The name modify it as well publish your name email and publish your name brainboard publisher this queue i do the same thing yeah perfect now i need to include An API management group is this one I included in the resource group and in the location. Now I modify the resource name here, the API management name display and the name. And as you can see, everything that we are doing on a diagram will be automatically reflected on our code here. So here I can modify the name, it will be called group. And here I can modify the name, it will be API management. Now I can create a connector between these two resources and the connector i will call it api underscore management underscore name now i need to include an api management product group still located in the resource group and in the location now Cloud configuration, I modify the resource name, it's this one, API management name, group name, and product ID. And here we're good to go. Now I simply need to modify the name product group. And I'm going to create a connector between these two resources. I'm going to group name. And I do the same thing between this resource and this one. And I call it API management underscore name. Perfect. Now I need an API management product is this one still included in the resource group and in the location. I'm going to modify 
the resource name, API management name is this one, display name it's here and the product ID it's here. Then publish and then we look for subscription required as well. And here we are good to go. Now yeah perfect. I create the connector between these two resources. The connector I call it product ID. This one I will simply name it product. And here I create a connector between these two. Perfect. API underscore management underscore name. And then now I need a product API. So API management product API is this one. Still included in the resource group and in the location. Now I can resource name API management name API name product ID and here we are good to go. And here, yes, perfect. Now I need to create a connector between, so a connector between these two resources. And now the connector product underscore ID. Perfect. And this one, it's called product API. Then now I need an API management API. We include it here. Then now we modify the resource name. Mappy, the API management name is this one. The name is here. We look for the display name. It's this one, and we look for the path. Then we simply need to look for protocols. Here it's HTTP, and here it's HTTPS. Perfect. And now revision is one. So we are good. Now I need to create a connector between this resource and this one. The connector I'm going to name it API management underscore name another connector between this resource and this one I call it API underscore name and then a connector between this resource and this one I add the text API underscore management name perfect and this one I name it AP, um, API 
now I'm going to create the variables. So variables location is a string. Then the default is here. Description update. Then now we create architecture string default is this one and description is this one. Add. Now we create another one. Is still a string. The default is this, and the description is this one. Perfect here, and another one. The prefix. Still a string. The default is brain world and the description is here. Add. So now I showed you how to create your variables, how you create your your diagram and each time you create your diagram everything is reflected here. Here you have your main.tf, you have also your providers because here you can actually write down your custom Terraform provider definition. And here we can look at creating uh, versions. So initial design. Now let's say that I would like to include an API management here. And then create a version added resource commit and now you can actually navigate between either your initial design or you add resources just an example then now we will look at the deploy first to be able to deploy it then you need to set up your own um, azure rm then you need to do the same thing here for your credentials for GitLab, GitHub, or Azure DevOps. Your data are stored in um, either AWS S3 blob storage or local database. Here we can go to, you have your Terraform code here. And here we can do a plan. Brainball will then get the Terraform init and the set lock. Everything should be green. It's ready to be deployed. As Brainboard is a collaborative solution, so if one of your colleagues wants to do an apply, then Brainboard will actually detect that there is an ongoing action. You simply need to shut down the plan to be able to do an apply. You simply need to write down apply and then it will be deployed at your target provider. Um, if you want to do um, yeah, a git uh, pull request, then you simply need to either select Azure DevOps, GitHub or GitLab. Let's say GitHub. Save. Then simply need to create a pull request use case and then you will be able to have it and here let's say i would like you would like to actually clone this template simply need to convert organization or public let's say organization next 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 and let's say you would like to publish and you will be able to use it in another organization. I hope this video has been useful for you. And if you have any questions, do not hesitate to contact me. Have a great day.